it's great to be here. This is a great event, and New School is so proud to be able to participate and join with all of you. And I offer my congratulations to all of you who have made a commitment to this discipline, these fields of study. You are all pioneers, and, and to be congratulated for the work that you're doing. We've um, been following the progress of the Academy and uh, have tried to do our part at at New School, um, uh, and, I, and I think there are probably two or three things that I'd like you to remember about New School or our involvement. Um, your, your research is so much more refined than mine, uh, but I've been told over the years that most of the time people aren't going to remember more than two or three things uh, anyway from a speaker, uh, so let me try to limit it to just two or three. Uh, one is that New School of Architecture and Design is one of the most rapidly growing uh, architecture schools in the country. Um, my predecessor, Gil Cook, who some of you have met already and you're going to meet again more formally, uh, uh, took a school that was perhaps one of the smallest in the West and grew it to become now, I think, the fourth largest school architecture school in the Western U.S., and recently named as one of the top ten architecture schools in the, in the Western region, which we're very proud of. New school now has about 625 students in graduate programs and undergraduate programs, not only in architecture, but in aligned disciplines, ranging from digital media to landscape architecture to construction management and much more to come. And one of the reasons there's much more to come is that we are uh, part of a large education company. This is the second thing I want you to remember. We're part of a, a, um, a uh, large education company. In fact, it's the largest education company in the world and probably one that you've never heard of. It's called Laureate Education. And they own 60 universities around the world and enroll close to 700,000 students. Most of those are very comprehensive universities. There's only five of them in the United States. And it gives New School now an opportunity to truly be global through our relationships with our sister institutions, whether they be in Europe, in South America, in the Far East, wherever, because Laureate schools are everywhere and, and expanding in their own right. So, Faculty exchange has become real. Student exchange has become real. The opportunity for interdisciplinary work has become even more real, and it's a very exciting prospect. The third thing that I'd ask you to, um, to know is that we were one of the first schools in the country to offer courses in neuroscience as part of our regular curriculum and continue to offer courses to this day that are well attended, well enrolled, and I think a real tribute to the, the inquisitiveness of our students and the, uh, the opportunity to, uh, to continue uh, to provide new, fresh minds, fresh thought to, uh, to the uh, interdisciplinary nature of this discipline. So it remains a very exciting time for us at the school. And, and again, we're just delighted to be part of this, which is so consistent with everything that we're doing. We have a panel today that is um, taking on a challenge that every educator thinks about all the time. And I'm glad that we've got leaders who are going to uh, help us traverse this path of um, how do we really create interdisciplinary activity that is meaningful and significant uh, among fields that some still think are too diverse and dispersed. Uh, we've got people who are uh, talented and uh, are, are uh, the great ones to be, uh, to be hearing from. Their full bios are in your booklet, so we don't have to spend too much time on that. I'll begin with Eduardo Macano, uh, of course, former president of APFA, and many, all of you, I think, have uh, already met Eduardo. Uh, I've had the great pleasure over the last couple of years to watch his uh, leadership and how he's been able to bring his research increasingly into the forefront uh, and uh, is doing great work. And Eduardo, your leadership can 
continues to be great. Thank you for, uh, for what you're doing. Um, uh, Meredith Benaziak uh, is currently at the University of Colorado. Uh, she and I met, I think, about three years ago, as we're guessing, right? And uh, uh, she was in the audience of a large lecture, and we happened to meet and have a chance to say hello, and she told me, what she was interested in, and all the light bulbs started going off, because indeed, uh, there aren't that many people in other architecture schools that I come across who have interests in, the, in neuroscience, and uh, she indeed does, and is doing some fascinating research. I think hope you saw some of the poster work that uh, is presented outside, and she's got more to say uh, coming up in just a moment. Margaret Terapi is a graduate student at pursuing her PhD at the University of Utah, um, she had a history at New School as well. Uh, maybe uh, five years ago, was teaching there and has gone on to, uh, to continue her, uh, her work in pursuit of, of her advanced degrees. And so, Margaret, it's nice to see you again and to have you back on this, uh, this panel. And then, uh, uh, last but certainly not least, and our, uh, our lead-off hitter for this panel is uh, Gilbert Cook, uh, who is... Um, uh, uh, on the faculty of, uh, of New School, he is our uh, former dean of New School, former president of New School, and an educator of, uh, of, of uh, a great uh, renown and an architect of great renown, and a great friend uh, who has, um, as a colleague and, and as a friend who has uh, been a guiding force not only for the school, but for everybody he touches and everybody he is uh, around. So we're delighted to welcome the panelists, uh, and Gil asked you to lead off our session. 